I'm going to show you how you can auto fill default values for Airtable records. Airtable allows you to set default values for text and numbers, but it doesn't allow you to set default values for a lot of the other types of, of fields. So for example, if you have linked records or attachments or single select, etc., cetera, it, it won't let you set up a default value. So I'm going to use this tool by miniextensions.com and I'll drop the URL for this in the description. And this tool will run on a bunch of records in bulk and add default values to them. <clears throat> so let's start with the attachment field. Let's try to fill up all these rows with a default attachment field value. So here's the tool. A couple of things we'd have to set up initially, which are the API keys, base ID, and table ID. And you can follow the URLs here to find the instructions for those. And then we'll want to have the field name, which is this right here, and a default value for it. So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm using two URLs, and they're comma separated, and they're both images. So if you see here, there's a column between them. Let's go ahead and run it. There you go. And it might take a second to process these icons. You'll see those for a second, but yeah, the images will just pop in after. All right, let's go ahead and try a linked record. All right, and then the value for it, we can just copy it from here and drop it right here. And we can have the, the default value for linked records be the record IDs or the primary field names. Let's see, all right, pops in. All right, I'm gonna do a speed round here. Let's do single select and let's do multiple select. Um, let's see. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep copying these and dropping them here. Then we have a checkbox. So for checkboxes, we'll wanna say true or false for the value. So in this case, let's do a true. All right, all right. Phone number. Cool. And last email. All right. Okay, so as you can see, it fills up all the default values. So one thing I wanna show now is, imagine you have some sort of uh, a job on a Zap on Zapier or a form, and you're getting, you're periodically adding um, call new, new rows to this table and you wanna set the default value for every single new row, right? So the way to do this would be to use our webhook functionality so you can access it from here and you can find a webhook right here and this webhook will run the job every time that url is called so let's try this real quick say we add a new column here and we open this url all right now this might take a second but you'll see the the email here pop in and what happens is you can redirect to this webhook after a forum is submitted for for the Airtable forums, or you can call it at the end of a Zap. So Zapier has, or I think even Integromat probably has something similar. So you can trigger this job at the end of your Zapier or Integromat. 